I'm gonna have my knee across. I'm gonna be controlling the bicep, controlling the, the tricep, the trap here. I'm gonna dive in, open the arm, dive in here. My partner's gonna put his, my hip to the ground. As he does that, my leg is gonna swim. I'm gonna put my hook in right here. Now I wanna make sure my knee stays up. If I let him push my knee down here, he's gonna be able to come to mount, take my back and stuff there. So I wanna make sure when I get here, my knee stays nice and high. Now, from here, I'm going to lift my partner up knee in the back, bring my arm around, circle, then come to the back. One more time. Um, some mistakes I see here when guys first learn this, they get in here and as they dive up, they don't get up, they get stuck here. Go ahead, smash me and they let, let the partner go here and put them down and then they get their arm stuck here. Or as I come up, I get a little higher and he puts me down here, but he, they let him slide back so far here. From here, I am not on his back. If I try to put my hook in here, I'm toast. So I want to make sure that I'm at least here. Go ahead and put me down or my hip is going a little bit more here. The higher the better, but this will work. My hook goes inside, lift up, arm comes around, and I come to the back. There's another option that I love to use, the same thing we're going over, same technique, we're gonna dive under. So I'm coming under, and I'm getting here. And it works really good when you get a heavy guy that really knows what he's doing on top. For every action, there's a reaction. So basically when I get here, I like to jam and sit up hard. So when they push in, I'm gonna use that momentum. I'm gonna rock and bridge and come back up on top. Say it one more time. So again, I'm keeping this high.